hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is anolo of bounty's kitchen aka bounty's creation so i'd like to thank my subscribers my returning subscribers everybody that's been coming back to watch my videos and if you've not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please subscribe just hit the uh the button and click on your notification bell as you do so thank you guys so much so today i'm here to just share some of the mistakes most of us make while baking and this kind of frustrates us and not make us to want to go back to baking and as as you, as you would want to rather so guys i've been in these shoes before i've made these mistakes and it hasn't really turned out well for me either so i just said okay let me just share these guys with you and let you know so that you will know what to look for while baking your pastry moving on the first i will talk about is your ingredients the temperature of your ingredients especially your wet ingredients you know some recipe calls for uh, room temperature wet ingredient while some recipe calls for cold ingredients so you must take notes you must be very sure what that recipe calls for you don't use a cold temp a cold temperature um ingredient for or uh, for a recipe that calls for room temperature it will not work out well there will be one or two things and you you just be wondering oh what have i done wrong what's wrong with this oh god i'm just so tired oh oh but guys, it's not far-fetched. It's because you didn't take note of what is required for your wet ingredients. So please take note of what the recipe calls for and be sure you are doing the right thing. Moving on is using substitutes for some of the recipe if you don't have what is needed. Sometimes using substitute can work out, but most of the time it doesn't work out well because you are not using what is necessary and i've i've been in this situation before a recipe called for i think it called for greek yogurt and i didn't have greek yogurt at home at that time so i made use of uh your normal plain yogurt what do you expect there's a little bit of difference in this even when you have a, a recipe telling you okay you can substitute it this way and it will work out you can't guarantee that and you don't want to finish baking and you're just wondering why does this look like a weather yeah so guys using substitute can and can or may not work out so be sure of what you want to commit yourself into while using that substitute another thing is measuring the temperature of your oven i know i know a lot of us especially for people who don't use oven or even if you use oven that does not have a regulated temperature you get to just use your instincts you get to just rely on your ancestors to tell you my daughter my daughter my son my son the temperature is enough yeah yeah so you need to get an external thermometer you can't just rely on the ancestors this is not salt yeah this is not salt so you need to measure it and be sure what temperature you need to put it and sometimes most times you need to preheat your oven i've been in a situation whereby i don't preheat my oven like i've made this mistake i don't preheat my oven i just on the oven and just put it inside and if you use a regulated um oven with a with a an oven rather with a regulated temperature you will see it will take a little bit of time for your oven to get to the required temperature so hence the reason why you need to get a thermometer if your oven is not regulated moving on is opening your oven too many times especially if you're new to that recipe you are agitated you are anxious you're like okay am i doing the right thing is this thing coming out is it baking is it oh god stop stressing babe guy stop stressing it's so big just time it every recipe has a required time so just time it and go and rest go and rest and stop disturbing yourself leave the pastry to bake even opening it you are reducing the temperature of the oven and that's not good for your pastry not good not good not cool so guys moving on is 
when you're done cook, uh, baking your products, allow time for it to cool. Most pastry require time for it to cool and set. So if you don't give it this time, it will definitely break and you'll be wondering, oh, oh, oh God, I should have waited. I should have waited. I've been in this situation before and I'm like, oh God, why didn't I wait? You know, because I was rushing. That is why it will lead me to my next point. You need to be patient whilst baking. You can't rush it. You cannot. If you're in a rush, postpone that baking seriously because it will really affect you and you might even forget some things you might you might miss some step and you're just doing it after and sometimes most of this recipe there's a reason why you are asked to add a particular ingredient at a particular step so you need to be patient you need to do things rightly and i would say if you're trying a recipe for the first time if you're baking something or making something for the first time go for the less complicated recipe do your research compare and contrast don't just get a recipe and hug it and download everything where you can get something less stressful to start on and when you have the confidence in that particular uh, product in that particular pastry you can now decide to explore the more complicated recipe this will work well for you i need to you don't have to stress you don't have to stress why are you stressing so guys you need to do all this i know this is not exhaustive you know there are a lot of mistakes most people make while baking and you know guys you just need to you know if you are, if you want to bake you need to commit your heart to baking you can't just do it passively you can't just do it just because oh let me just try it out you need to because it takes consistency and persistency so guys what other mistakes have you made that you have noticed while baking that particular pastry that you love let me know in the comment section below and i love you guys please subscribe to my channel if you aren't and keep your notification bell on it's still me your girl and see you next time in my video Bye!